is better than what I had for lunch today. Good, you're just loving that chunky monkey. This. So everyone we ask, and basically everyone everywhere loves ice cream. And the reason why is because it's almost scientifically designed for indulgence. America leads the world in ice cream, eating about 1.5 billion gallons per year. And if that sounds a little abstract, just imagine 30 million bathtubs. Delicious ice cream filled bathtubs. In fact, our nation is so serious about it that there are literally federal ice cream laws. And why we love it comes down to these four essential elements. Sugar, fat, water in its icy form, and uh, air. They work together to form this sweet science that humans find irresistible. Like that? <laughs> it starts with sugar the best source of energy and therefore survival for our earliest ancestors. They pass down that evolutionary sugar craving. Researchers can actually see our brains rewarding us with the feel-good chemical dopamine when we eat ice cream. Eating sugar also cuts down on... Oh, wow. Corti corticolibrin. Cody cord... <laughs> Corticolibrin. Definitely just lowered my yeah, like, <laughs> corticolibrin <laughs> levels. Certain stress-inducing chemicals. The fat in ice cream works on our brain too. Studies show it has a similar effect to antidepressants, which may explain why this happened after your last breakup. But that rich, creamy fat also works over time in your mouth. Not only does it boost production of saliva, which gets more of your taste buds in on the ice cream party. I'm like about to just put my tongue in here. But flavors tend to cling to fat molecules. That's why ice cream's taste seems to linger with every bite. And while, yes, brain freeze is a danger of ice cream, Temperature is generally a key to its charm. Humans react to dynamic contrast. The novelty of cold turning warm in our mouths actually excites our neurons. And that same love of contrast applies to textures, which explains these. And last, and this is one you don't always think about, ice cream has air in it, with lesser brands sometimes adding more air for the same amount of cream. Especially airy foods play tricks on the stomach, making it believe it's not as full as it really is. So with those, you're actually getting less while eating more. So go ahead and indulge a little. After all, it's basically just science. I'm keep eating though? Yes. All right, sweet.